we go, we change one to a nature related term like fern, so I could be the grasses sitting by you. I see why people fuck this thing. I get it. morning wouldn't have forgotten if i was sleeping with you but look at this jesus and look <laughs> at this sound fit. do you still think your reflection is another guy nope he's gonna go in there think it was another person come back out and freak i was gonna show you and there's a man in our bed there's a guy, guy in our bathroom yeah exactly i'm gonna go in there show in our bathroom. i'm gonna go in there show you it's a reflection not a person okay okay you're right there's a man in there in a dumb green hat no this guy he has curly hair dude he probably put a disguise on i'll learn to punch you see him again so you describe to the cop that hurts, that's good. Okay. You want a punch to hurt you. No hat. He's got a curly hair and a dumb mustache. I didn't see the mustache. I'll go see the mustache. Okay. So that's fine. You're taking green hat, no mustache aside. No, dude. You're messing with me. He doesn't have any of those attributes. Right. Either you're messing with me, or we're dealing with some sort of freaking shapeshifter. Let's both go in there, run at that guy. Okay. There's two. There's two guys in there. I can't believe we didn't account Two for guys. That. Before we make any more moves, okay. I'm gonna go use the big mirror bathroom so I can, okay. like, be clear and stuff. Holy freak. Green hat's in the big mirror bathroom. What? Tunnel system, probably. Stop freaking out, stop freaking out. You're, hu you're hungry, you're hungry. Go get cereal in you. You're right. I want my friend like full mind. You're right, Go, I'm dude. hungry. I'll learn, to, I'll practice my punches. Oh, wrong. Keegan? Probably gonna be on Keegan? Coming. What? I don't mean to alarm you. Ha! Huh? Curly hair guys in our spoons. I don't mean to alarm you, huh? but we use those to eat. Sorry for alarming It's you. okay for alarming me. We're done, we're done for, done news. I know. Let's take one more selfie. Keegan? Well, I'm aware they're in our phone. Mm -hmm. They left my phone. They put a virus in it to crack it just now. So pack up your car, put a hand in your heart. Say whatever you feel, be wherever you are. We ain't angry at your love. You're the greatest. Yeah, so we're back in Japan right now. We're at a fucking show, and I'm just with the Japanese boys, and I taught them a little bit of Canadian lingo. So tell me, what is the best Canadian term? Tell me right now. Let's send it. Yeah, let's fucking send it, boys. That's a beauty. She looks me dead in the eyes and says, Hey, Brian, if you still believe in the Lord above, get on your hands and knees and pray for us. already know me. No, I don't. You do. All I want 
is for you to look me in my eyes when you talk to me. My eyes are right here. Can you not see them? And if we're being real, Paul Rudd really is the only casting choice you can make when you want people to be okay with your main character ending up with their stepbrother. Like really think about anybody else doing that. I just watched an interview clip where Daniel Radcliffe said he'd love to be in a rom-com with Quinta Brunson. I'd love it too, Daniel. I would love that, yes. In 2024, I want us to stop saying that WWE and like wrestling is fake. I want us to start saying that it's scripted. Because those people really are taking those hits. Like they are putting their bodies on the line. It's like the last remnant of modern day gladiatorship that we have. Like, I'll be real with y'all. I'm still mad at Usher for hurting T-Pain's feelings on that airplane. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. True crime television peaked at American Vandal, period. And I just know in my heart of hearts that if we got Queen Latifah at the helm of a fleet of rom-coms, that we could bring the genre back to what it once was. I know that in my heart. Who are you texting? Huh? <laughs> Who are you texting? No one. Hmm. Let me just... <laughs> Jen! Marceline, is it just you and me in the red cage of the world? Are you sure you want to take that tone with me, little girl? Ah! Okay, so so that's how we're gonna play it. That's fine. Okay, that's cool. That's all right. That's fine. This is crazy. Hey, okay, I'm not a god. There's something wrong with my brain. I understand that I'm weird. Believe me, I get it. I'm afraid something may be really wrong. Even now. Your Honor, I'm a witness to this man's trial tonight. He took my loving soul and then ended my life. And in spite of all he's done then, his sentence seems quite light. I suppose after it all, I'm just left here wondering why. He stripped me metaphorically and he tore apart my skin. He erased all of my history, so I'm not sure where I begin. And my story isn't violent, only the parts of it with him. And he'll be free to walk the earth while I'm stuck buried in it. So Your Honor, I'm a witness to this man's trial tonight. He took my loving soul and then ended my life. If the jury deems it fit, may they endure the strife. Apologies in advance, you see the pictures aren't nice. He'll get away with murder and be free to roam the world, tormenting my dead memory and hurting little girls. If an eye for an eye is the best that you can do, send him straight to hell. I'll make sure he gets right through. Your Honor. Not to make light in his passing, but in honor of Toby Keith passing away, we need to party fucking hearty this summer, okay? I'm talking whiskey for my men, beer for my horses, solo cups pointed fucking up, okay? In the name of Dolly, Willie, and the Toby Keith, let's fucking party. <laughs> Oh, I think they like
like me. Clean pair of sneaks with a designer belt. Please watch your step, cause I'm feeling myself. Throw a flag on the plate, man, somebody get the ref. Rehab was supposed to be a fresh start, but no matter how many starts I get, there's always the same ending. Everything falls apart, and I end up alone. I'm still here, Bojack. Why? Country girls make do, huh? <laughs> Oh, help! your ass kicked by a 12 year old nerd with an inhaler supper time spanky nope <laughs> Gonna shoot a puppy, are you, Jack? Yeah, in the face. Why? Was it just a game to you? But I miss something. You know I'm such a fool for you. You got me wrapped around your finger. And I'm asking you to hold me just like the morning paper. Pinch between your pointer.
Princess Celestia. I've learned nothing. I hate it here. Get me out. These fucking pony ass bitches do not know anything. I fucking. I would like to be a necromancer. Keep track of your summons HP and you got a deal. I would like to now take the skilled feat for smith's tools, woodcarver's tools, and leatherworker's tools. Interesting opening move, but fine. Let's see where this goes. One bag of holding for my own personal use, humble shopkeep. Not for party use at all? What are you plotting, you stingy dog? It is at this time that I would like to now take the fabricate spell. You're about to sink my battleship, aren't you? Using up to 500 pounds of scavenged materials that I've managed to collect over several levels of adventures, I would like to use those materials in order to fabricate weapons and armor for my undead horde, and if any of those weapons and armor are damaged in the ensuing levels, I will be taking them, putting them in the bag of holding, and using them as raw materials for future weapons and armor. Infinitely renewable, heavily armored undead army. Warhammer style, yes. Well played, sir. You as well. Who's buying this? That would be my big fat ass. I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide, baby. I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. Blitz, fam, a blitz, baby. Let's blitz. Die.